Today we are talking about the top 4 concerns that I have with NVIDIA. If you want more videos then remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get into the video. NVIDIA's stock has experienced an astounding surge of over 600% in the past 2 years. This impressive growth has largely been fueled by the burgeoning artificial intelligence market, which has significantly increased the demand for its data center GPUs that handle complex AI tasks. The relentless demand for NVIDIA's data center chips continues to surpass its supply, with analysts forecasting a compound annual growth rate of 45% in revenue from fiscal year 2024 to fiscal year 2027, which concludes in January 2027. Additionally, earnings per share are expected to rise at a compound annual growth rate of 51%. Despite NVIDIA's current valuation exceeding $3 trillion, there is still potential for further growth. However, prospective investors should be cautious of four key risks that could potentially halt this remarkable rally. In fiscal year 2022, NVIDIA derived 46% of its revenue from gaming GPUs, 39% from data center GPUs, and the remainder from professional visualization, automotive, and OEM chips. This product mix dramatically shifted over the following following two years, as sales of data center chips surged past those of gaming chips. In the first quarter of fiscal year 2025, NVIDIA reported 87% of its revenue from data center chips, 10% from gaming chips, and the remaining 3% from other categories. The company generated $22.6 billion in data center revenue in that quarter alone, compared to nearly $27 billion in total revenue for the entire fiscal year 2023. This rapid expansion has transformed NVIDIA from a diversified GPU manufacturer to a company predominantly focused on AI chips. This shift could be advantageous if NVIDIA continues to dominate the AI market as it expands. However, should the AI market experience a sudden downturn, NVIDIA's current chip shortage could swiftly turn into an oversupply. In such a scenario, NVIDIA would not be able to rely on its gaming segment or other smaller divisions to mitigate the impact of unfavorable year-over-year -year comparisons. NVIDIA's heavy reliance on the AI market exposes it to numerous unpredictable regulatory challenges. United States regulators have repeatedly tightened export restrictions on its AI chip shipments to China, potentially driving Chinese chipmakers to expedite the development of their own AI chips. Furthermore, stricter regulations for generative AI technologies, which have already been implemented in Europe, could slow the growth of the AI industry and prompt companies to scale back their purchases of new AI chips. Ethical concerns, such as mass plagiarism, could also force AI companies to expand at a more measured pace. According to John Petty Research, NVIDIA controls 88% of the discrete GPU market. But its primary competitor, Advanced Micro Devices, has been introducing more affordable AI accelerators. Advanced Micro Devices MI300 Instinct GPUs have already outperformed NVIDIA's H100 GPUs, which cost approximately four times more in terms of raw processing power and memory usage across various industry benchmarks. Intel has also claimed that its new Gaudi 3 AI accelerators are faster and more energy efficient than NVIDIA's H100 GPUs. Super Microcomputer, which has seen rapid growth in recent years by producing dedicated AI servers powered by NVIDIA's chips, is also developing new servers optimized for advanced micro devices and Intel's cheaper AI accelerators. These more affordable servers could attract budget-conscious data center operators and diminish NVIDIA's market share. Meanwhile, the tight supply and high prices of NVIDIA's products are prompting its major customers, including Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, to develop their own proprietary AI accelerators. While these chips may not pose an immediate threat to NVIDIA's growth, they could gradually weaken its dominant position in the hyperscale data center market. NVIDIA's stock is currently trading at 49 times forward earnings and 26 times this year's sales. If the company's potential to double or triple its value in the near term were realized, these valuations would seem justified, and insiders would likely be buying more shares. However, over the past 12 months, NVIDIA's insiders have sold over four times as many shares as they have bought. While insider sales do not necessarily indicate an impending decline, this trend suggests limited near-term upside. Despite these concerns, NVIDIA remains an attractive investment, but investors should not view it as a flawless growth stock. The company's transition from a gaming-centric business to an AI-focused one has been sudden. Nevertheless, assuming NVIDIA can navigate these competitive regulatory and macro 
macroeconomic obstacles, it should continue to be a leading player in the expanding AI market. In summary, Nvidia's stock has soared due to the AI market's growth, but its heavy dependence on AI chips, potential regulatory hurdles, and rising competition from advanced micro devices and Intel pose risks. Investors should be mindful of these factors while considering Nvidia's impressive potential for future growth. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.